Thank you to Dr. Wilder for preparing this video. First, we want to utilize a carbide or diamond burr in a high-speed handpiece to create the initial punch cut where the carries is the worst, usually at the central pit. A good guideline is to drop somewhere between half and full length of a 245 burr, which is just shy of 3 mm in length. This will put you just inside the dentin layer on an average occlusal surface. Extend mesial and distal along the natural grooves of the tooth to incorporate the extent of disease until you reach sound tooth structure at the perimeter of your preparation. Check to see that you created smooth convergent walls with a mirror to give you the best view. You can confirm the absence of caries at the base and sides of your preparation with an explorer. You can roughen the enamel walls with a coarse diamond burr to increase surface area and improve retention of the composite material. Apply 30 to 40% phosphoric acid etch to the entire preparation to clean off surface debris and remove the smear layer of dentin. Let it sit for about 15 to 20 seconds. Remove it thoroughly with water and high volume suction. You can gently dry the tooth, but leave the dentin somewhat moist so as to not collapse the collagen fibrils. Apply prime and bond adhesive with a micro brush. Gently air thin the bond to evaporate the solvent and then cure for about 10 seconds. Place the composite via a composite gun or hand instrument directly into the cavity preparation. This should be no larger than a 2 by 2 millimeter glob of composite, unless it's a special bulk fill material. Pack the composite with a blunt hand instrument to ensure that there are no voids along the pulpal floor. You can wipe some adhesive on the end of the instrument to prevent it from sticking to the composite. Once this is completed, cure that layer for about 20 seconds or as directed by the manufacturer. Continue this process until you have enough composite built up for a final layer. At this stage, we can pack the composite, but also contour it with a ball burnisher, swiping along the cavo surface margin to remove excessive composite material and shape the composite to restore natural anatomy. You can contour the composite further with a round or football finishing burr to recreate the natural depressions and fossa of a posterior occlusal surface. Check with an explorer from tooth to restorative material to look for any presence of flash or composite material that snuck up and onto the unprepared enamel surface. If the explorer catches anywhere, you can remove this flash with the finishing burr. You can also remove flash manually with a cleoid discoid hand instrument used along the cavo surface margin.
finally, you can finish and polish the restoration with a silicon impregnated rubber polishing point. Green to yellow and then to white is the typical coarse to fine Jiffy polishing system. You can check one last time for flash, of course after confirming that the occlusion is satisfactory for the patient. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you in the next video.